Hi there, welcome to a brief presentation. Um, during this presentation, I'm going to go through some of the new features that we are releasing with the um, latest version. Today is uh, Friday, June the 19th, and this version will be released today. The first thing we've done, just something minor, um, on your date of birth, we've enabled people to actually go forward with their date of birth as well. We did have some um, technical issues here with users trying to select a date but not adjusting um, the year first, and that was creating some confusion, so we've adjusted that. I'm going to go ahead and just start Appliance. During the scanning process, nothing has really changed. Um, however, in the navigation in the top right hand corner, um, we actually provided a location where you can um, see which client you are currently uh, analyzing. As you can see, the current client is now denoted in the purple color. And if you have a look on both the quick zap as well as on the main hole tray, you'll see that we have two plus signs. These are new features that we've developed where you can do a bulk drag of all the red items or the yellow items or the blue items. To activate this process, you simply click on the plus and it'll give you the bulk item option. You can either drag all of the red items, which as you can see, the red items have now been dragged into the uh, quick step tray. If you go ahead and um, access the sub panel, as an example here, we're in the brainwave EEG. I can click on add red items and it will add the red items. When I go ahead and add the blue items, it will go ahead and add the blue items as well. Um, the next thing we've done is if I drag a few items down to the main hold tray, go ahead and begin an analysis. You'll see we now have the option um, in the top to either select all or just the high or the medium or the low. If I go ahead and select all, you'll see that we have auto automatically selected all of those items to actually begin the balancing. If I want to go ahead and delete, I can remove the medium and the low. And again, we will just have the high items here on display. Um, go ahead, let's go to the library section. I'm going to go ahead and create a library. What we've done with the library section, we've added a item count, as you can see in the top right hand corner there. And then, go ahead and save. Click on add items. And we have, we still have the archetype imprinting and then the frequency inputs. The archetype encoding in the past, it has um, activated a voice recording process. As a result, this was actually draining the battery for some of our users, so we have removed that feature. So when you go ahead and click on the archetype encoding, you'll see it begins with the coding process, um, but it does not activate the recording function. Um, we've made a lot of, of sort of user interface improvements. Um, if we go and have a look at the um, at the, um, the quick balance slider here. In the past, the quick balance slider, it used to overlay on top of the numbers. So we've gone ahead and we've adjusted that as well. So we've made, we've made some improvements there. Um, lastly, in the um, accessories in the Insight Quanta capsule, you have the ability to actually send multiple emails to people. In other words, you can export a Quanta capsule to multiple email addresses at the same time. The way to do that is super simple. Just go ahead and enter in the email address. Obviously, your clients still need to be registered before you can go ahead and enter in their email. There you can see we've added two. Go ahead and click on OK. And then that will send multiple emails um, with the items that you've loaded into the main whole tray. So we hope you've enjoyed this update. There are some other features that I'm sure you will find uh, in due course. Uh, please, again, we do look forward to your feedback. And um, thanks so much.